Hey everybody, this is Steve from HitItLonger.com and I am looking at the swing of Yanni Tseng. Uh, she was one shot out of the playoff today at the Nabisco and didn't have her best day today. She let a couple other gals get past her and she missed out on the playoff by one stroke. Uh, but she's going to be in the Hall of Fame before she's 25 years old. Uh, one of the greatest women golfers in history. Let's look at her swing. Uh, you can see at a dress here She's got a little different philosophy at the setup and the backswing than Mike Austin did. The width of the feet is wider than the width of her hips, and she's got a little bit of a squatting, sit-down type of move as well with the knees bent and the rear end kind of low. Um, this is a, uh, you know, lowering the center of gravity, widening the base of support. This is a swing uh, trying for stability on the backswing rather than mobility, which is opposite philosophy that Mike Austin had. So you're going to see her look really stable with her lower body. Not a lot of movement except for a little bit of hip turn. You see her go back though, you, I think you're going to, what I really like a couple things here is that she's very wide going back maintains her width very well. There's no question that she's a very supple athlete. She gets it back halfway. She's maintaining the arc very well. You can see how stable the lower body is. And she makes a gigantic shoulder turn as you can see. You can really see the shoulder blades wound up and the torso wound up here. Um, the club is not an awesome position at the top. If you would see it from down the line you would see that it's a little bit laid off and it's a little bit long which doesn't bother me as much but she's definitely um, shooting for more of a down and across style of swinging rather than an under up and out style of swing and this is why she ends up laid off because she's setting up for a more of a leftward horizontal swing plane which you can see from the down the line uh, angle that we'll cover on another day for sure her transition is terrific. You can really see how the hips lead into the impact zone. A lot of beginners do not have this motion of the lower body leading. So now she's in a classic sit-down position like a Sneed or a Nicholas would be at the appropriate time. So you can see both knees are bent here She's not attempting to sit down, but she's switching flex in the knee, and now you see her uh, left knee start to straighten. Her right knee's flexing through, and the heel is lifting. I think the difference here between her and Mike Austin would be that Mike would have had his left hip laterally further this way. And you look at the heel, or the, the toe area here, I think the difference here is that Mike Austin would have had his foot rolled in to the inside a little bit more and he would have been letting this toe start to drag already um, a little bit. She has a toe drag but for a different reason as we'll see in a second. Alright, moving on. Let's look at impact. If you look at this impact, she's hitting the ball real close to the bottom of the arc. It's hard to tell if she's she's neither down a lot or up a lot for sure. She's probably somewhere in the probably one downward to one upwards range. So it's somewhere around zero. So since she's at around a zero angle of attack with the driver on this swing, to hit it straight her horizontal swing plane would also have to be zero. So this is a more of a classic um, put the shaft on the drawn up video lines, uh, plane lines type of swing. This is a great position here uh, following through. I really like that she's flexing the right knee, letting the heel come up freely. Um, Again, it's a swing of stability in the center of mass, so she's not able to, to shift laterally as much because her feet are wide apart. So she's more stuck. Um, 
the extension's fantastic again. Look at the extension she's got there. Although at this point, Mike would have liked to see her club shaft look like this at this point. And you can see here, if I draw an arc, you can see how much further the club head would have a chance to travel. That's not much of an arc. It's more like a piece of pizza. Okay. That club, from where I've drawn it, there's probably a 24 to 30 inch uh, space where she's actually slowed down the club by keeping it in line with her forearm here. I'm not sure what the purpose of that is. I, I know that people think that they are keeping the they're trying to keep the club face on line longer, but it just isn't true. Um, the wrists really should be recocking quicker. Um, that's kind of scary because she's already averaging, um, her average drive is almost out there to a lot of the male players on the PGA Tour. She's averages like 270 per drive. It's something really stupid like that. It's really long for someone this of this size and, and a you know female without the uh, testosterone that males have. Um, but I do love the extension. Look how wide this is. That's just terrific. Mike would have loved that. Again, you see the, the stiff-wristed uh, follow-through where we might want to look something more like this at this point. There's a there's an angle that Dustin Johnson looks like, for example. Dustin Johnson is probably at least as good at Mike Austin at recocking that club quickly. He probably would have his club on the red line at this point. But the, the but the extension is tremendous. Coming through to the finish, there's the there's where she hits the end there. You can see how much her spine is twisted here. Now, this is definitely the swing of someone young and supple. I mean, her muscles may be supple and capable enough of stretching this far, but now it's a matter of, of bones, spine, uh, vertebrae, discs, facet, joints. Um, this may be putting extra stress on those when you turn and your chest is facing way left of the target while your belly button is facing at the target. Um, it's, it's unnecessary risk um, this is because she's not using power, getting power out of her hands, but she's, it's more of a style where the turn of the body is trying to get speed. And again, she, she can spin fast enough. She's got a really powerful legs, terrific rhythm. That's the one thing I like to watch her swing. Her swing is so unhurried and so rhythmic and so relaxed. It's just so supple. Um, I really like watching that about her swing. Um, I wanted to show you one last thing in her footwork coming to the end. I want you to notice how she's going to do a toe drag after this point. See, if you're doing a Mike Austin swing, you would have already dragged your toe by now. The reason that she drags her toe late, watch this right, right toe drag, right here it comes, right there. It's about an inch, two inches maybe. There it is. That's actually to have her help her finish in balance. It's an indication that her feet were too wide at the beginning by two inches. So she's using just total athleticism to end up with her heels under her hip bones where she probably would have started. Also look at her left foot torque outwards as she goes through the ball. Watch, she's kind of square here. Right here, watch your foot, left foot turns about 30 degrees, and then her toe drags. I think I would like to see her just have her feet in that position to begin with. Um, would get rid of some unnecessary motion. It would also take the stress off of her tibia bone here and off of her lower back just by, <coughs> excuse me, turning the... Um, turning the um, the foot out about 30 degrees to start with. Pardon me, I've had a coughing fit lately. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, anyway, it's a powerful swing. 
she has a perfect club path. So she's creating a really close to a zero club path. So she's going to hit it straight between that and her awesome rhythm. But it's just so unhurried, so, so even that she's going to hit it straight most of the day. Um, I think Mike would tell her that she had some room for improvement. Obviously, she would tell Mike <laughs> that she's a lot better putter than he ever was because you, you don't win as many tournaments as she does without being probably the best putter on the planet. You'd have to imagine she's got to be just about the best putter on the planet to win this many tournaments by so much. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. I'll talk to you again soon.